Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to D1 DLC. My name is Brad, and this is Hollow Knight. <laughs> Hollow Knight is a 2D action adventure game, currently in development by Team Cherry from Adelaide. This is a stunningly beautiful game. The backgrounds, the characters, the animation, everything about it is just gorgeous to behold. The art style and the music combine to give a real eerie, almost forlorn feeling. And it actually reminded me of Diablo walking into Tristram for the first time and there was that real uh, sense of foreboding that evil existed, that people had left the town and we head off to find out exactly what that is. And just like in Diablo, it all happens underground. The gameplay itself, it reminds me of something and I'm not quite sure what. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels very old school. Jumping down these caverns, searching for things to do. You, the game doesn't hold your hand. To be honest, I, I still don't know what would be expected of me to progress to the next area. And I don't hate that. There, there is a danger that if they get that wrong, you could be wandering around lost and having no idea what to do next. That being said, I quickly stumbled along things that were happening and, and which gave me the opportunity to figure it out for myself. For example, when I first came across this crying worm-like creature, there was no indication of what to do or, or how I could interact with it, but there was a sense straight away that, okay, I need to do something here. Now, I didn't know what it was, and I went about exploring through the caverns. <laughs> A short time later, I encountered and defeated the first mini-boss I found in the game, and immediately behind him was what I thought was the missing piece of the puzzle. I soon discovered though that that was only the first piece of the puzzle. It's things like this I find really intriguing. I don't know how many there are. I don't know if there is a final amount that I need to collect. And this is going to drive me forward for a little while to make sure I absolutely search out the entire area. At the same time, it might be frustrating if I can't figure out that I've done, if, if there's a, a question mark of is there more to find, players could find that frustrating. So that's something to be wary of and I certainly hope that uh, there's some sort of mechanic in place to make sure we know when we should be moving on to another area. The combat is very tight and very fluid, and it feels like it's in a fantastic spot. I am hoping that we might see some more special abilities, dodge or dash mechanics, something like that down the track, but it's not required. To be completely frank about it, if the game was released as is right now, but just with more, it would be a great experience. I have no doubt about that. That being said, this is a very early build, and there is clearly a, a shopping mechanic so that weapons or, or armor, I'm not sure, are going to be upgradable. So we're going to find that out as we go. I haven't unlocked that completely completely yet and I don't know if it's in this build that I've got or not because I haven't quite finished it. Now the reason I haven't quite finished it is because the combat is quite challenging, uh, not ludicrously so, uh, I've, I've genuinely enjoyed everything that, I, that I've done, I find the bosses to be challenging without being ludicrous, that being said. I haven't beaten what I can only assume is the last boss of this particular area, and I assume that because he is quite difficult. So um, he's given me me a bit of a, a kick in the butt so far, um, but I am hoping to take him down in the very near future. Now, we're not quite sure on a release date for Hollow Knight just yet. However, Team Cherry have recently said that they're hoping to be talking about it soon. When it was successfully kickstarted, it was slated for a first or second quarter release of this year, 2016. Now, we're past that. I can say, having played it, 
it really feels like all of the mechanics are super tight and this build that we've got is actually quite old so I get the impression that the vast majority of the delay is down to the size of the game that we're going to see it release. There's a huge potential behind this game. I am genuinely excited. It's absolutely beautiful, it's fun to play, it's challenging and it's immersive. Hollow Knight is definitely a game that you should be keeping your eyes out on and we'll be watching it closely. We're hoping to have the guys from Team Cherry on the show in the near future. Keep your eyes glued to the website, listen out to the podcast. We'll be bringing you every update we possibly can on this game because uh, we're hugely excited that this is being made right here in our hometown and looks absolutely stunning. So for now, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you check out Hollow Knight. The website is in the description and there's more information to be found there, including developer playthroughs. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the website www.d1dlc.com and we'll talk to you soon.